had to come look at these cars real quick. Like an old school, oh my gosh, I can't even see it. Rally car. I think it's so sick. And then we got a Lotus. And then this is right across the street from our hotel. We got like an R8. We got like a 911 Porsche back there. I really like the Miata. That Willwood Bridge. I think it's so sick. The Porsche is my favorite. But I had to come look at the rally car real quick before we took off. All right, good morning. Finally gonna go pick up uh, this trailer. Um, I haven't really told you guys anything about it, but basically my parents really want <coughs> like a trailer that they can like camp in and travel in. So we found this one, bid on it. We won uh, the bid and now we're picking it up. Uh, we're from SoCal, but for right now we're in Chico. I didn't film anything like yesterday just because we were driving all the way here, but the rental truck. We're still waiting for Trent. All right, so currently we're trying to figure out this hitch that we got for the trailer. It's um, this like, was it Blue Horn? Blue Ox. Blue Ox. And it has these like bars that are supposed to like stabilize it and stuff. But the thing is that the this is like a seven adjuster or seven something adjuster, but we need like a 12 or a, a nine so it could be lower because this is the ball is too high and you don't want the trailer to be sitting like this, you want it to be more front heavy. So that's the current situation, but we're at the, the person who restored the trailer's property, but I'm not gonna film him just to respect his privacy and stuff. But he's, you can see like, he's got some cool trailers, even just in the front, lingering around. Once we like fully secure the trailer, then I'll go ahead and show you guys like the inside and everything once we like get it all situated. Currently we're just renting this truck until my dad finds one that he wants to like end up buying. He's looking at like a Tundra. So it's just like a temporary thing. Here we are with the trailer. My dad's getting uh, coffee right now, so figured it'd be a good time to show you guys how it looks on the outside. And since he's got the key, we'll dig into the inside later. But um, as you can see, we have the Holiday House, you know, logo right here. And it's also vinyled on the back. Um, and then they went with this light blue, which looks really good. Almost the same color as like our Barracuda, or not Barracuda, Galaxy has like these old gosh I forgot what this style is called but these windows and the uh, honestly what makes this thing so cool is like you know like this style nose the boxy like roof and like the big front window so supposedly this is like a one of two it was like a one of three but then the third one burnt down um, and the second other trailer is in like it's like a machines like coin machines at like a like a casino then there's this one and this one got to them and um, they fully restored it they skinned the whole thing there's like pictures of the whole documentation and uh they got like put in magazines and stuff so it's one of two of like there's there, there's a lot of these styles like i think the 16 footers but this is one of two of the 18 footers. So that's the like certain category um, as far as like the length. But 
Now this thing's beautiful. It has like these uh, like swirls that you like people do like by hand and stuff. Um, all new like modern uh, amenities like for you know the water heating, um, all the flushing for the toilets and stuff. Like nice little lights all over and stuff. LED tail lights, um, you know, freshly painted bumpers and tongue uh, to match the wheels as well. Super cool. Um, when they uh, got it, they didn't have this front door, so they had to find one and reskin it. Um, and then the step matches everything. Um, and there's like a, like a big shade that goes across in front. Um, that you know is nice when you're like officially set up somewhere originally this one didn't come with like a bed and you would sleep on the couch but they actually put a bed which kind of like sacrifices some of the room to like move around and stuff um but you know for my parents uh they liked it because it could be like more comfortable as far as like having a big like bed to sleep in and then a cute little kitchen, a nice like, seating area. For me, like I thought this was cool for them to get because like my brother and I were gonna be like trailering cars to like racetracks and stuff. So, um, you know, for them to like go on like a trip and I want them to like be a part of our journey and be there with us and at the same time, like stay in a place like this or stay in a little camper like this. When he returns with the key or at some other point we'll go over the whole like interior which is i'm sure what a lot of you guys want to see um but i know that like in terms of like traveling and stuff that uh, this trailer will be shown like quite a bit so i wanted to kind of like document when we're first picking it up so um i'm stoked to share that experience with you guys that YouTube. <laughs> Somebody recording me. <laughs> and these things, watch when I put on the blinkers. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> but I like the little LEDs up here. Yeah, The next morning, welcome to the trailer. Go. All right, show them around. So we got the lounge area, oh, pillows, nice thick couches, table that we use sometimes. Over here, got the artwork. From the uh, the people that made the trailer, uh, it's, it's a yeah they refurbished it and it was his wife that did the artwork. She signed it. Down there. Where is it? Right here. Oh yeah, she signed it. Get there. Got the kitchen. <laughs> Show <Fire stuff>. <laughs> marine locks, which are kind of cool. You press it and then it pops out and then you can actually grab it and open it. Just like a boat. Yeah. And then they like have easy closing. And then you have your fridge here. It's like a small freezer under there. Pretty nice. Here we can keep all your kitchen stuff right here. Yeah. This one or this one has like the smaller little uh, shelves and then this one has uh, the <laughs> the bigger space for like towels and all that stuff 
pretty deep sink. Like this is probably like a foot deep. Would you say, Trent? Yeah, it's actually a really deep sink. Two just... burners. And then got a bathroom in here. Comes really close. And then you can fully open the door and kind of allow more space, you know, and moving people back and forth. All right, show them. So you got the shower here. I want to turn the light. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm not sure what this thermostat's for, actually. I think it's to heat the water for the... For the shower? Yeah, so this so thermostat right here... Probably preheats the water. Yeah, preheats the water. And then you have... Storage cabinets. Storage cabinets for, like, toilet paper and all that stuff. The toilet. Mirror. Just your usual standard shower stuff. The air vent's nice. Yeah, so you just kind of push it and then power on um, and then they added this little kind of push light so just kind of adds to it most of the cool stuff electronically is down here heating etc yeah power. so in here we have all of our fuses and such breakers and then this is our like um solar so that shows all the battery to our um uh, or the power to our battery with low usb ports we have some other plugs over there and then on the other side that little switch right there is to turn on the water pump really? when you're dry camping normally in the original ones this opens up but they removed that yeah they had little I think this, did this Pieces. open up too? Um, I'm not probably. Sure. I'm not sure if that one did, but I know this one did. Yeah, this one for sure had these like little um, things you could pop up and have storage in it. I guess that was just a design choice term. <clears throat> and it's just a lot more work if you're refurbishing these kind of trailers. The big window view. Kind of what it's known for. What it's known for. And then you, you have the original windows. The original windows, which is cool. And you turn the little knobs and it folds out. Um, and then the bedroom. <laughs> so these, so this uh, trailer didn't originally come with a bedroom. It just had the, the lounge area. Yeah. I'm pretty but, sure it was like, no, so the bathroom was way in the corner. Yeah, the bathroom was like this little corner over here. And then there was like a, like a, closet and then all this other stuff but now there's this like sleeping quarters with a tv and it also has lights in here too um and you got this queen bed that we might or might not have slept in last night just to break it in, break it, in. it was comfortable and then <laughs> Uh, you know, vent just to make things all bit storage is underneath nice. the bed. Yeah, there's like one storage thing that kind of lifts up. You can put a bag, a couple storage bags is under here too. Show them the storage real quick. So there's a whole storage thing on there to keep all your yeah your stuff. I have a few things under there. Those are like the main storage compartments, other than the. Kitchen. So. Kitchen cabinets it and the bathroom really cabinets. I don't have any other storage besides the restroom storage. So that same storage is kind of replicated underneath the bed. For sure this one does. I love these style windows, bro. <laughs> they, uh, they actually lock pretty tight. Yeah, they do. Those are my favorite style windows. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We got an extra outlet here for all the blenders and waffle makers we're gonna bring now <laughs> um and then yeah under here we have the uh operations for the battery and the battery is actually under there um also this little button down here is the light switch for the step down there something i noticed with the bathroom though is that so if you go into the bathroom, you just turn this little knob, but then if someone pushes this thing in, it locks. 
So someone could lock you in there. So you have basically a prison in here? Yeah, you basically have a prison. A <laughs> really cold prison. And then those little lights, so these are LED, so these turn on with the battery, and then those turn on when you have this thing plugged in at a park. Probably should turn off the power. Yeah. Great and job. so is the TV. They Those operate on the, um, when it's plugged in, just because they would drain the battery too much. Original step, the step has the original key on it, but the original key doesn't go to anything, so. But yeah, it's just kind of Because this door is not the original door. Yeah, the, not the original door. Otherwise, that would have been kind of cool. But it's cool little, like, I don't know if they could see it. Cool little piece of history on the trailer. We have all the stabilizers down. You can kind of use like a power tool and just brrr. So here's our water house? heater, modern amenities. This clean water is at the gray house and the electrical and then. Yeah, so heat. this is um, electrical. And then you got, this is the, for the TV. This is cable if you go to like a certain park. And then, what is that? That's the clean water hose, and I think that's the gray water hose. Oh yeah, gray water hose. For, so this shower, and that's the sink. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's crazy, crazy. It's giving like a gnarly reflection on your face right there. I know. So that's the whole trailer. Holiday house. If you have any questions, message Trent on Instagram right here. No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll answer all your questions. But until then. Um, yeah, if you have questions or want to know anything else, put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. But we're going to be using this pretty, like, I feel like we're going to use it pretty often.